Hey guys, I got a brand new arena comp I'm going to show you today. I'm also going to show you my defense. This right now is my favorite comp. I fought a lot of teams in the top 100. And a lot of them are using Herb now instead of Parfait Cookie. So I went and checked it out. And I found Herb to be a lot better just because of the ability to take some of the debuffs off every time Herb uses that skill, right? So I'm going to go show you my build because a lot of people asked about my build. I'm running that 8.1% cooldown on Dark Coco, or Cacao, I should say, and as much damage resist as possible. And then Eclair is kind of a mixed bag. I have one version where I run full cooldown, 22.7%, and I have another version where it's a mix of cooldown and damage resist with a little bit more damage resist. Um, so right now, I'm currently actually using the full cooldown because I don't mind Eclair getting knocked out and then using the feather coming back with a second attack to kind of take out their team fast and then i have a 11.8 percent cooldown version of sea fairy right that's the four attack and one cooldown top and to get to that 11.8 percent in that four second start my cotton i'm pretty happy with over 24 percent on cooldown and damage resist i have cooldown over 24 percent because this is the build i do use in guild battle against the red velvet dragon and then Herb is kind of a mix of cooldown and attack. I have 25% damage resist and 9% cooldown. Pretty happy with that. Let me show you my defense real quick. My defense is just Dark Cacao with Shyberry Crave with Frost Queen. It's more of a safe version. Um, I'm using the full cooldown on Shyberry Crave. I'm using my damage resist at 8.1% cooldown on Dark Cacao. I'm using my regular 26.2% or 3% damage resist to build for Eclair. And then I have 20% cooldown. I'd like to get the damage resist a little higher on Frost Queen, but I borrowed some of the Frost Queen toppings to get my cotton to 24% cooldown and damage resist, which I'm really happy about. So let's get into some of these battles. This should be a pretty even matchup. I'm guessing it's gonna be Parfait, but it might be her. Let's find out. Oh, just like one of the great battles of ancient times. Okay, pumpkin pie. So sometimes they do use pumpkin pie. And you can see my eclair is already low on life, but somehow stayed alive. So that's impressive. Maybe my sea fairy gets knocked out first. No, eclair did. And then eclair gets another attack. And then wiped out. It looks like they're sea fairy. Oh, their cotton stayed alive. Oh, my eclair. Oh, I thought they were going to stay alive. But still, it looks like I'm going to be able to get this win. No problem. So you can see, even with my Claire, only at 3% damage resist. Still doing good. Still staying alive. I should probably go full cooldown Eclair with higher damage resist. I need to work on that. Alright, I'm going to take this comp against what's probably Sea Fairy and Frost Queen with Holly Berry and Dark Cacao. We'll see how it does. Okay, so it's just the strawberry crepe, dark cacao, holly berry comp. Let's go. This comp is pretty good against the triple tank. The dark cacao triple tank. Because you're just doing so much damage, it's hard for that team to keep up. Yeah, I'm getting that Sea Fairy, getting that Eclair hit. And I'm getting that massive healing. And then you can see Herb Cookie keeps debuffing, which is nice. Pretty easy win, pretty easy win. What? I just went to my defense, and look, this is some kind of cheat comp. Um, obviously, a zero star pumpkin pie, one star herb, zero star parfait is not going to beat my team. I mean, with espresso, come on. But you can see the rest of the defense. Um, a bunch of successful defenses, some losses, but you can see a little over 50% win rate. I'm even being some of the double tank with red velvet comps, so... The defense that I showed you is pretty good. Let's check out this team. Oh wow, they have one star attack scroll. A level one insignia of the Indomitable Knights. And they beat me. That's impressive. I'm gonna fight this team. Right, 
Yeah. This team beat me somehow. Nope. Uh, clearly some team is cheating. Some kind of hack. All right, this team's got level 11 insignia of the Indomitable Knights. Um, it is the double tank with T Knight and Dark Cacao. I'm guessing this is gonna be Claire and not Red Velvet. So let's see how the team does. I need to take Dark Cacao out first to make it a little easier. Okay, they're running Sea Fairy and Frost Queen. My Eclair gets knocked out first, but gets to use the skill again, which took out their Sea Fairy and Frost Queen. So I'm kind of sacrificing my Eclair right now to get that second skill off to hit them hard real quick. The thing is, I'm in a good spot right now because my Dark Cacao has so much health. Though a little lower on health right now. Ooh, if my Dark Cacao dies, I'm in trouble. Still, I got time. Okay, got that win. So even if they're left with T-Knight, as long as you have enough health, you should get that win. 3,500, they're using Pumpkin Pie. This is going to be T-Knight up front or Dark Cacao. We'll find out. This is no tank. They are running Eclair up front, trying to do as much damage as possible. Starting to see this comp more and more. The team I am running is pretty good against this comp. Because Dark Cacao can absorb a lot of the damage and you are also hitting this team very hard and you have two healers to help you stay alive. So it ended up turning out to be a pretty easy win. Alright, 300 ranked team. 3.2 million from Seafairy. So this looks like another T Knight team. Just based on the new treasure that they're using. Yep. So my E Claire. I wonder if my Claire is gonna die pretty fast here. My Claire seems to be surviving. If my Claire makes it to the one minute mark without dying, this team is pretty much done. Oh, they still have Survey Shark. All right, how much life? Okay, my Dark Cacao has plenty of life. This match is over. This, this Teen Knight does not have enough time to defeat my entire team. Oh, and I still have the Feather even, so forget about it. Nice, I'll take it. As you can see, the Dark Cacao single tank front, very solid. All right, this looks like another T-Knight comp. And they're using double healer. They're using Parfait. No, this team is using Sorbet Shark up front. The advantage is when I'm going against Sorbet Shark, I only have one tank up front, Dark Cacao, plus I have the Feather. So even if Dark Cacao gets wiped out by Sorbet Shark, my Dark Cacao will get that Feather revive and then it will be game over for this team. Yep, there's the revive. And then I got Eclair and Sea Fairy about to lay down the hammer. That, that team is uh, pretty weak against single tank up front with Dark Cow. I love this team, man. Get in these wins. Now it gets a little harder once you get into like top 100, obviously, but still, I'll take the wins. Look at that, victory, victory. All right, let's see what this comp is. Ocean Wings, a team that's often in the top 100. They are running, okay, Sea Fairy, Dark Cacao, and Holly Berry. And this team took out my Eclair fast. I did get that second hit though, which is nice. But I'm not doing much damage against this team. This team has a ton of damage resist. Ooh, I took out their heavy hitters. 
Nice, and I'm going to get this win. Kind of surprised because early on in the fight, I was not doing very good damage against this team. All right, and look at that. Five star, no, four star Holly Berry, three star, Dark Cacao, five star everything else. That was a good win right there. All right, 3,800 trophies, five star Holly Berry, five star Sea Fairy. Let's go. Okay, Strawberry Crepe. Holly Berry and Dark Cacao. The 108 break team. So far, pretty evenly matched competition. I'm wondering who's gonna get my feather. I'm guessing it's gonna be Claire. Seafair and Claire are probably gonna die at the same time. Okay, so Eclair was able to use the skill after the feather. I still have cotton cookie. And it looks like I'm gonna get this win. I am loving this comp. You guys gotta try this comp out. Make sure you get a lot of cooldown on cotton. At least 22% if you can to get as much damage resist as possible on cotton. Use herb to get that debuff. You want cooldown and attack toppings on her because you want her to heal a decent amount and then you want that full cooldown on eclair in 11.8 percent four second start time on sea fairy right and in dark cacao you're going full damage resist and as much cooldown as possible with a full damage resist build but this build is absolutely incredible try it out guys you're gonna see how strong it is it's going to give you a very good win rate. Now, it's not going to be 100%. Nothing's 100% win rate, but you should at least get like a 70% win rate if you build this right. All right. Thanks for checking out this video. Later.